going on, everybody? It is April 30th. It is a Wednesday, a very rainy Wednesday, at least for me. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. So I was going to do a totally different video on Last of Us 2 today because there's actually some developments that I found. I guess I will do that video tomorrow because today we're going to talk about salt because all they taste over at Naughty Dog right now is salt. They're not happy about these leaks and they're taking some pretty drastic steps to, to silence people that want to talk about it. This is a very strange development. So I'm going to go over a bunch of accounts because three YouTubers have been struck just for talking about them. At this time, my video is still up. I'm wondering what's going to happen with that. I'm going to leave it up. And if they do strike me, I urge everybody to do exactly what I'm going to do, which will be contact a lawyer. Now, one of the YouTubers is contacting a lawyer, and we'll get to that in a minute because everybody's video is fair use. Nobody's showing footage. I think if anything, people are showing an image and talking over it. That's not copyright. Okay. That's fair use. That's fair use. Now, I guess if you were just uploading the footage with no context, nothing, you're just uploading the footage outright with no gameplay or whatever, I guess you can make that argument. But then how does that, how is that any different than a let's play video with no commentary? Uh, that That's something I don't know. I do know for sure though, me having this picture of Ellie playing a guitar right here and talking about Last of Us 2, this is this is fair use. This is fair use. Uh, you can't just DMCA people for talking about stuff. And this has happened a few times. It happened to Weaponized Nerd Rage, another YouTuber who was talking about he was talking about Terminator Dark Fate uh, when that whole thing was going on. And Paramount struck his channel, said he was uploading the entire movie. So companies will do this quite often. Uh, this this isn't right. It's abuse of the system. And these companies have money. It's worth pursuing them if they don't drop it. Now, I imagine all of these claims won't go through. Like, everyone's going to dispute the claim, I would imagine. And... They're all gonna. I would think they're all gonna fall through because they would not win a lawsuit when it comes to this. So let's let's go over what's happened here. All right, we got this YouTuber on Twitter as well. Super divorce had to do a video on the Last of Us leaks. Another franchise bites the dust. The Last of Us Two examining the leaks narrative and horse s. Okay, there's a link there. If you click on the link, video is not available anymore. He posts a picture of it right here. First copyright strike, thanks to The Last of Us 2. It's interesting. Now let's go to the big one, a big YouTuber. That being Geeks and Gamers. A very big channel, like 250,000 subscribers. I'm imagining it's going to grow after this. So here's what's going on. Jeremy Prime, owner and leader of Geeks and Gamers, posts this on Twitter. Uh, we're live, hashtag The Last of Us Part 2. F you, naughty dog. And, you know, there's a stream link. This is what people do. I do the same thing. Whenever I do a stream, I post a link over on Twitter, you know, to get more attention to it. And then we see here, two hours later, taken down. I showed no images and gave no specific details about The Last of Us WTF at Team YouTube. And then there's a picture right there that it was taken down with a copyright strike. They didn't claim the video. They didn't just have it removed. They issued a strike to the channel. This is this is nuts. I imagine that, you know, he will win the dispute on this. It'd be really foolish for them to take this to court because then you can claim distress and many other factors because it would cause its, it's distress in your business over nonsense. Okay, as an update here, I'm not doing anything until I talk to my lawyer about this in the morning. I showed no images. I gave no specifics about hashtag The Last of Us Part 2, yet my stream was taken down and I was issued a copyright strike on a clean channel. Tag people you think can cover this story. And that's exactly what many of us are going to do. A lot of other people were covered, were tagged here with the story. And I imagine that a lot of people are going to talk about this. Here's weaponized nerd rage, by the way. Same stuff happened to me not that long ago. I uploaded a video talking about Terminator Dark Fate leaks. Paramount pulled the video claiming that I uploaded the whole movie, which is crazy. 
I want to be clear. You're allowed to talk about specifics, even though, you know, he didn't talk about specifics in his stream, right? You're allowed to, all right? Generally, you would say, you know, spoilers and let people know. That's out of courtesy. You're allowed to talk about this if you want, as long as you're not showing anything. And even if you are showing stuff, you're still allowed to talk about it. It's called fair use, which I think a lot of these companies seem to forget exist. So maybe they need a reminder with a nice lawsuit, which is going to be hilarious to see if they try to go all the way and take this to court. I don't think they will. Now, what this is, is a scare tactic to get you shut up and stop talking about it. Their mindset here is that, oh, if we issue this, maybe they won't keep talking about it because, you know, we're a big corporation. We got tons of money. Uh, well, a, a good lawyer is going to look at this case and say, oh, well, you just have lots of money to take because this is clearly an abuse of copyright and we'll see you in court. And that's exactly what will happen. You're allowed to talk about this stuff. It's fair use. So you can try the scare tactic. It's not going to work. And if anything, this is going to draw more attention to what's going on and get more people to cancel their pre-orders, which I've already been seeing. I've already been seeing can people canceling their pre-orders because they're not interested in what this game has to offer. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out for them. Uh, we have more here, RK Outpost. So at Sony and at Naughty Dog are trying to minimize the damage from these leaks by DMCA videos. They just struck my vid on Gaming with Geeks and on my channel where I showed video evidence of the Sarkeesian connection. And then he, he gets mad at them. So he clarifies later. Uh, he has a strike on his channel and he has a strike on Gaming with Geeks. So that's four channels now that have had copyright strikes over discussing the game. Now, for clarification, Gaming with Geeks and Geeks and Gamers are two different channels, but they're part of the same network. So Geeks and Gamers is a network of people who all kind of pitch in on the main channel and the other channels. Uh, they, they all grow together. They all have personal channels. It's actually a very smart idea to grow. So uh, I, I, I think that's an awesome system that they do. But it's still four different channels because you have that super divorced guy too. So that's four channels that have been struck. As, as far as I know, there could be more channels. There could be more. I don't know. I'm just going, this is like breaking news to me because I just woke up like an hour and a half ago and have been looking into this. So interesting developments. And it's not just YouTubers that are getting hit. It also looks like people that are talking about it or at least sharing images on Twitter are also getting DMCA'd. You see a couple of counts here showing a lot of the takedowns from Twitter. Now, I don't know if it's just on Twitter or if there's any other social media sites that are that are having this happen. I imagine it's probably going to happen over on Facebook as well. I'm not sure. I'm sure this is breaking and there's going to be more developments. I'm honestly expecting a lot of other YouTubers to get hit today. Uh, I will update if it happens more. I'm expecting this to be an ongoing thing. I know Ryan and Jeremy pretty well. I've streamed with them a few times. Great guys. Great channels. They wouldn't do anything that would get them in trouble. Okay. So someone's going around and just, just taking down channels. Now, what's unfortunate about this is there's no integrity in the game journalist sector. So I don't expect any of them to cover this. Uh, they're all a bunch of bootlickers. I have... I have no doubt this will go this will go unnoticed intentionally by them when it comes to Naughty Dog doing this and that's because uh, they licked those boots over at Naughty Dog and Sony very very well. So this will go this will go unnoticed. So what you guys need to do is you need to share the video, right? Get the word out there. If you're a content creator, you should cover this, right? Let's all stick up for each other when this happens. This is wrong. This shouldn't happen. Uh, you should be allowed to talk about this stuff without worry, especially if you're a really small creator and, you know, there's nothing. What do you really do? You know, a lot of people don't even have the money to take this to court if this becomes a thing, right? So we all need to be there for each other and, and help each other out. And that's what I wanted to do here. So share the video, please. Get the word out there. Tag Naughty Dog and Neil Druckmann over on Twitter, Sony Santa Monica, and let them know. People are watching. People know what you're doing. Stop being foolish. Release all the videos. This is going to turn into a big financial problem 
for Sony if they pursue this because this is this is fair use. You're allowed to cover stuff. This is journalism at the end of the day. All right. We're allowed to cover stuff like this. We're allowed to talk about the leaks. We're allowed to talk about people being angry about the leaks and not liking your game. You're the ones that you're the ones that decided to do this. The only reason that you're that you're copyright striking these channels, the only reason you're doing that is because you're trying to get everyone blind to what's going on. You don't want anybody to know about your leaks because you want to get as many people as possible to buy the game in the first couple of days because you know the game is going to jump off a cliff in sales as soon as word gets out by word of mouth when people start playing that game on how stupid that plot is. That's exactly what's going to happen. So you guys made the bed laying it. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share the video. Leave me your comments. What do you think about this? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you would, make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.